It's so important to know your worth, know your value, what you bring to a company. I remember when EA Sports was offering everybody $600 in a video game to be in their video game. That's going to sell millions of video copies. Millions. And I said, superstar athletes should not take part in that game because it's only $600. $600 and you're going to be in a video game that makes millions or maybe billions of dollars? And you're a star athlete in college? Why would you take that deal? You could make $600 working three days at Amazon. Three days. Three days at FedEx, you can make $600. There's a lot of different ways you can make $600. If you took this $600 from EA Sports, they're going to sell that game for years. You're going to be on all, you're going to be in that game all over the world and it's a one shot deal with $600. $600 is not a lot of money. Not when you're a superstar athlete in college and you got NIL deals that's bringing you money. Even if you're a lower tier or backup football player at a big school, $600 is not a lot of money. Your face is going to be in a game all over the world. So now you got a backup like Arch Manning who declined to be in the EA Sports game because the Mannings don't mess around with no $600. That's chump change. So why would they why would they be bothered with six hundred dollars and they got hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars? So you know what happened? He did a he did some kind of ad deal with them, where he's getting sixty thousand dollars to participate in EA Sports. He got a commercial with his uncle Eli. Sixty grand, and you know what? Arch Manning doesn't even play as a backup. I don't even, don't even understand why he's still at the University of Texas. He's not playing in 2024. Quinn Ewers is a starting quarterback. By the way, Quinn Ewers only got $600. Arch Manning got $60,000. So he's going to hold a clipboard all year watching Quinn Ewers put up big numbers, sit in the bench. But he got $60,000. Because the Mannings don't play with chump chains. They just don't. That little baby money, $600. Now, you guys know I don't really post videos, not anymore anyway, but here is pictures from the commercial. And you got to realize what Arch Manning did and Eli Manning did, you get residuals from the commercial. They play the commercial for years. You're going to get some money from the commercial on the back end. This is why you got to know your value. You got to know your worth. I understand these other athletes' last name aren't Manning, but you just got to know your value. Now, you got some people who are going to say Corner Sports Network, he's a Manning. Of course, he's going to get more money. But a quarterback like Quinn Ewers, who's, who's a star, who's probably a Heisman Trophy candidate, his people could not negotiate a, a better deal. Put it like this. When they play the game, they're going to use Quinn Ewers' I don't know, face. I don't play video games. His face or his image in the in the game, more they're going to use Arch Manning. Arch Manning does not play at all. He's a bench warmer. This is going to be his second year on the bench. Now, he came into high school as a five-star recruit, a can't-miss prospect. It's going to be his second year on the bench. I don't know why he didn't transfer. But Manning's, they stick it out. They play the long game. So probably in 2025, Art should be the starting quarterback, but nothing's guaranteed. Put it like this. Arch is making millions of dollars not even playing because of, his, because of his name, Manning. Arch Manning got an NIL evaluation for what? $3 million, $4 million, $5 million? And he doesn't even play. College football is mostly business. 98% uh, business, 1% football? You think I'm lying? They got a 12-team playoff in 2025. 12 teams. That's more money for college football. More money. Now, in other news, Sean Burroughs uh, was a phenom in baseball, especially as a kid, won the Little League World Series 
uh, played seven years in the major leagues. Towards the end of his career, Sean Burroughs had problems with substances, uh, all kind of drugs. Well, in May, uh, they found him dead. Of course, they did a toxicology report and they found that he overdosed on fentanyl. Now, back in May, I knew something was going on with him because when you're 43 years old and you just drop dead, there's only a few things that's going to really take you out of here. So I suspected it was drugs, and it came back that it was drugs. Now, he talked about it when he was alive that he had some substance abuse issues the latter part of his career. Look, I'm not here to preach. Everybody know what drugs can do to you. Look, just rest in peace to Sean Burroughs. My only advice is just don't do them. Just don't start doing them. I know it's peer pressure. I know they make you feel good even though I never did drugs. Never did drugs. I know they make you feel good because I, I see it all day long. I see it all day long. I deal with people that's on drugs, nodding off doing interviews. I see it all in my line of work. Look, I'm gonna holler at you guys later. It's Corner Sports Net. Oh, before I go, Tyreek Hill has another child. I think this is his 12th child. I think his wife is pregnant. Um, but you know what's crazy? I watched the show on Netflix and this guy got 3,000 kids. He had 3,000 kids. I guess so 12 is not that bad. If you got 3,000 seeds and kids all over the planet. But the only difference is, and it's a big deal with Tyreek Hill because he's a professional athlete. And if you're a professional athlete and you're a superstar athlete, they blow up everything you do. Everything you do, they talk about it. That's just how the media is. That's just how the world is. Still, 12 kids is a lot of kids. He's going to be spending a lot of money to take care of those kids. Now, the guy that got 3,000 kids, he went to a sperm bank and donated. But he went to sperm banks all over the world. And somehow, the sperm banks, they know what they're doing. So he got potentially 3,000 kids all around the world. All right, this is my last thing I'm going to talk about. Why on social media are you comparing Bronny James' stats to his father at the same age? Everybody knows Bronny James is in the NBA because of his father. So why, when I click on all the little sites I go to, they're comparing Bronny James to LeBron James? Can y'all stop doing that, please? Please, I understand you want comments, clicks, and shares, and people to put down Bronny James. I got it. But stop comparing them. LeBron is probably the most complete basketball player ever.